I am here today to make vault crystals and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of bubble gum. Oh, welcome back in, my beautiful builders. In today's episode, we are back with some more Vault Hunters. Episode 3. And today, we have made a lot of progress on making Vault Crystals. If we go ahead and we look in this chest right here, as you can see, I got a lot of them, guys. I got a lot of them made up. I actually spent a couple of days just grinding these out in some of my free time. And... It actually wasn't too, too bad. I got a couple of things that have hung me up, like this one. This one that I'm currently working on actually requires two saddles. And, well, well, I don't have two saddles or any way to get two saddles. But beyond that, in between episodes, we also did a lot of exploring. If I go ahead and open up my map, as you can see, I have a lot more explored in my world. I kind of took a trip up this way, found a really cool spot over here that we may make our future base at. And then I went up, I went around, found a new area that has black ice and a huge crazy looking mountain. And then I continued down around looking for new biomes. And then I made my way back home. So lots discovered, but uh, yeah, as you can see, a lot more black space as well that, uh, you know, we may go back and explore later on, but lots of cool biomes in this world. And I also picked up some things while I was out, <laughs> specifically more crates. So I've actually mentioned these a couple of times, but these wooden storage crates, they actually act as shulker boxes. And that's going to be extremely useful to us today. Looks like I, looks like I didn't empty all of them out, but this is going to be extremely useful for us today because today we are going into our very first vault. But first, we're going to have to venture back into the nether because I need blackstone for this. And lucky for me, I already found a basalt delta, so this actually isn't too bad to get. So just to give a very quick recap about what a vault is and also what the purpose of this entire pack is because the vaults are the main feature of this pack. So this is going to be a vault portal. And essentially what's going to happen here is we are going to activate this portal and then we are going to step through into a vault. Now you can think of a vault as basically dungeons and inside of these dungeons, we're going to be doing a ton of looting and all of the crafting recipes inside of this mod are changed in order to use the vault materials. Now, not only that, but just to reiterate, we also have to unlock any mod that we're wanting to use. So whether that be a storage mod, a decoration mod, power mod, whatever, we have to both unlock that mod and also get the materials out of the vault in order to use that mod. So uh, the vaults are basically the main feature of the entire pack, AKA why it's called Vault Hunters. See, it, it makes sense. It's kind of, it's kind of in the name. But anyway, we're also going to be leveling up while in the vault. So as you can see, we have our normal experience level right down here, but you'll also see we have this experience level and this is experience level zero because we haven't done a vault yet. But as we go up in level, we're going to be able to unlock more things as well as the vaults are going to get harder. So it's a basically huge RPG pro progression skills thing. Yeah, that's basically this entire mod and I'm excited for it. So I say that we get into our very first vault. I'm not entirely sure what to expect. I have never done one of these before, but I 
opened a vault and I is scared. <laughs> All right, I got some arrows. Maybe I should grab some more of those real quick. And I think for this first one, I'm gonna run the entire vault with you guys here on camera because like I said, I'm not entirely sure what to expect here, but uh, I guess we'll find out. We will find out very shortly. I have our wooden storage crate so that we can load up on things inside the vault and bring them back and let's go let's go let's do it the vault good luck killadrone all right killadrone has made the advancement the vault okay so first thing that you're going to notice whenever you enter into the vault we have a timer and if this timer runs out while we are in the vault uh, we die that's basically it we lose all of our stuff so we have to get back to the portal before time runs out now inside of these vaults there are chests, a lot of chests, and this is what we are looting. We are going to try and find as many of these chests as possible and basically get all the loot. We also can grab things like honey, so we can, you know, use them for getting more vault crystals or whatever we need them. If we need to build something with them, we can use it for that. I mean, we can take basically anything out of the vault with us and we can store it somewhere. So. I think for this vault, I'm going to try and just focus on doing uh, chests, like b basic, basic chests, and just trying to get materials. Any type of vault diamonds experience, I'll take that. Yes, most definitely. I will take that. But basically, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for anything that'll help us out. Oh, creeper and lag. Uh, both. Both creeper and lag. And a ticked off bee now. <laughs> Well, that, that went perfect. Okay, so also these vaults have different rooms. So as we travel through here, you'll see we're gonna go into different rooms. Now, this room is an obelisk, or has an obelisk rather. And if we go ahead and right click that, you can see we activated one obelisk. This is gonna get a little bit crazy here with all the mobs, by the way. Just don't mind them, they're, they're friendly, I promise. But, uh, this obelisk, if you get three of them in this room, some of them require, you know, six or five or however many obelisks. But anyway, once you get all of those, a boss spawns. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh, wow. We are, we are getting swarmed here. I am guessing, I am guessing, oh, that there are, that there are a lot of spawners in this room. Okay. So... I'm not entirely sure where chests are. I know that chests are hidden. I know that chests are hidden. I'm just not sure where they are hidden. Let's go underground here. On the bright side, the mobs are pretty weak, except for spiders. Spiders hit like a truck, man. Are there any? Just wanted to check the tree. Oh, there are chests in trees. Ha ha! I see a chest in a tree. Beautiful. Okay. We are... We are going to... Go away. Oh, wow. You guys just followed me from a long way away, didn't you? Okay. Also, I should mention, you can't heal. You cannot heal in the vault. So that's another thing that I I probably should have mentioned. Uh, so we're going to have to be pretty careful here or else we are going to die. Golden apple, please. Thank you. So we can heal with golden apple. We can heal with potions. We can heal with things like that. But we can't heal just in general on our own. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm just going to throw everything in here. And I am a little bit nervous now because I, I actually forgot that I don't heal. <laughs> I actually forgot that until I just saw my health bar was not regenerating. So, yeah, a little bit worried about that. Also, lots of ores. Hi! Hi! A lot of you guys just spawned in. I wonder if that chest was trapped or something. Ooh, I don't know what that was, but I got it. Get that, get that. Hi, hi. Okay, you guys are just being a massive pain. I have no idea how I'm doing, by the way. Other than I got 21 minutes left of this, and I, I honestly, I feel like I'm not doing that well. I don't like this room. Let's see if we can find a different room. Let's see if we can find a different room. Something that is... Less dangerous, because this one seems like it has a lot of spawners in it. Also, you can totally tell why, why there is, like, skill trees and stuff 
in the uh, in the pack now because you are definitely going to need some skills to bulk yourself up while you're going through this pack. And I'm so slow. I got slowness from something. Oh no. Oh no, I'm almost dead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're about to lose everything. We're about to lose everything. I gotta get out of here. Where's the entrance? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I do not want to lose everything. I don't have a way to heal though. What's this? Gives you a temporary heart. Okay, that's better than nothing. Oh, one heart. Thank you. I appreciate that. One heart. That's really going to do a lot for me. Let's go. I think we went through here. I think this is where we came from. Oh, this is terrible. I am really bad at this. Don't you hit me with slowness, you stupid witch. Okay. So what I've learned is I suck at these vaults. <laughs> I was not prepared at all. That's what I've learned. Kill a drone bailed. That's what just happened. Kill a drone absolutely bailed. I got to get geared up better than that. I got to get geared up a lot better than that. I was just not prepared whatsoever for that. An uncommon vault gem. Okay. Oh, I did get a little bit of experience though. So I guess, I guess that's good. <laughs> I guess. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Okay, so I feel as though I didn't really give myself a proper chance in that vault. And that's because I didn't bring in any healing items. And this time I'm not going to make that same mistake. This time I'm going to make myself some instant health to potions. And I have two of these that I found inside of dungeons a while back. But I want to make some more. And... These things are actually really expensive because like I said, the recipes are changed in this mod pack and in order to make a instant health potion, you need a golden apple. Doesn't sound like a big deal except that the normal golden apple recipe was changed to require blocks of gold rather than just regular gold ingots. So they're pretty expensive, especially for early on in the early game. But I think that it's going to be very, very worth it to be able to go into the vaults and collect items rather than, uh, you know, <laughs> rather than try and mine outside of the vaults. The vaults are going to be very, very, very uh, useful to us. Okay, let's give this another go. What do you say? Okay, this time I actually have a way to heal myself and I also have a way to mark a waypoint very quickly so we don't get lost. So if I go ahead and hit the equal sign on my keyboard or I think by default it's plus, it'll lay down a quick waypoint so that I can keep track of where the entrance to the vault is. So the second that we get in here, we can go ahead, throw down a waypoint real quick. That way we won't get lost lost so boom quick waypoint we know where we are coming back to okay now brand new room i am at least at the very least able to heal myself now so hopefully this vault will go better um it looks like that didn't sound good i don't know what noise that was but i didn't like it Whatever it is, I don't want anything to do with you. I'm just here to collect items. I come in peace. Oh, that looks like netherite stuff down there. Hold on. We may go down there. I'm going to go ahead and hit this obelisk. I don't know that I'm actually going to fight a boss because I feel like I'm going to get absolutely wrecked. But I'm going to hit the obelisks just in case I, I get a wild hair and I decide that I want to give it a shot. Uh, I, I, I doubt that's going to happen, though. I'm going to check the corners of these rooms. I don't know where any chests or anything are, so this is mostly just going to be messing around, trying to figure things out. Hello, Zomberts. Having Smite on this sword, by the way, super, super nice. Okay, I don't see anything else up here, like no trees or anything, so I'm going to try this. Oh, okay, we took some damage. Oh, a cake! Hello! The vault is a lie! <laughs> I actually didn't know that there was an achievement for that, so that's really cool. All right. Oh, man, I feel a lot. 
I feel a lot better in the vault already. Other than me taking a little bit of damage there to get that drop. I know that there is an ability in the skill tree to where you do not take damage uh, from falling anymore. So that's probably something that in the vaults would be very useful. So we probably want to spec into that at some point. Also, ores. Yes. Yes, please. Yes, please with the ores. Because I am... I am very low on everything, basically. Uh, can you go away? Thank you. All right, I want to set... I just want to junk things. Uh, or not junk things, but like throw things into chests. And then keep moving. Because we only have 20-something minutes. And... We're gonna we're gonna call this our first vault. <laughs> we're gonna call this our first vault. Okay, this is our first real vault. Our other vault run that doesn't count. That one was a was a test run or something, right? We can all agree to that, right? Okay. Now, now that we've agreed, thanks, <laughs> thanks YouTube comments. I appreciate that. Now, the real fun begins. I just gotta figure out where I'm going. Also, I'm not entirely sure. If I need to go back upward in order to get out of here, I may have to actually get some blocks in order to block up. But I am getting a decent amount of ore here and upgrading the netherite. Normally, I'm against that in vanilla Minecraft because I think that it's a waste of time. But since it's readily available here in the vaults, I might as well obtain netherite. Seems like it would be very useful to do. Go away, baby zombie. Go away. Oh man, this is this is going so much better already. I definitely feel like I need some mobility things. Did you just hit me with slowness? Are you kidding me? Go away. Go away. Really, dude. Really. All right, I'm gonna let this poison do its thing. Go away, Zombert. And then I'll just heal up afterward. Hopefully we don't get sneak attacked by something. All right. I don't know if I need to go up or not, but we haven't gotten a single chest and we're like five minutes in, so I feel like we probably need to build up. No, go away. Go away. Alright, we're gonna potion it. Goodness, how long does this poison last for? This poison is a death sentence, man. Alright, we're almost to the top. Just use whatever this is. All right. Okay, next room. Let's go. Probably want that. That does not give as much health as I thought it was going to, by the way. I thought that these splash potions were going to be really, really nice. Uh, they're better than nothing, but they're definitely not amazing. Okay. Collect all of that stuff up. I should probably throw down this I hear things coming for me hello stupid baby zombie stupid regular zombies I definitely feel like I'm underpowered in here man I definitely feel like I'm underpowered like I should be running through these oh no I feel like I should be running through these vaults a lot quicker and I'm just Definitely not. Okay. Dude, what is up with this? All right, give me all the things. Give me all the things. Go away. Oh, vault diamonds. Vault diamonds. So those, those are important. Those are important for crafting things. For crafting lots of things. So that... That is very good that we got them. Uh, I need to like throw things and set other things and more things are coming for me. Hello, you guys spawn in huge chunks, don't you? You guys definitely do. I got a regular potion there. That'll be useful. You're just a regular instant health. You know what, I'm gonna drink you. Thank you. All right, give me that. <laughs> Oh, this is exciting. Not because I'm having a great time, but because I feel like I'm going to die at any moment. Ooh. All right. Can I get whatever's in here? Ha-ha! More things. 
feel like Vault Diamonds probably would be best right now. All right, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this room either, to be honest. I tried to dash there and I didn't. Let's go this way. I just want to get another room that's, you know, got a lot of ores, got things that are easily accessible right now because I feel very, very limited in, in my movement and such. And, oh, hi. I didn't even touch your chest. Go away. Oh, Wither Skeleton Skull. That's cool, I guess. Okay, anything else? Just a Zombert? Zombert coming after me? I don't see any ores or anything in that room, so I'm, I'm not even going to worry about it. What's in here? Oh! Interesting. There seems to be chests in these crystals. This is a very pretty room. This room is gorgeous. Oh, there's ores in here. Oh, yes, please. Vein mine? Yes, please. Ores. Ores for days. And this also is going to give us the vault ores, which we're going to need for crafting as well. So that is another benefit. All right. I feel like I'm collecting a lot, but I'm just not entirely sure what's going on. So I can't tell if I'm doing good in the vault or not. But honestly, at this point, maybe maybe just staying alive in the vault is me doing good. Let's be honest here. Maybe just staying alive is me doing great. Because I was not prepared at all for the first time I came in here. Oh, I just heard something make noise and I did not like it. What we got? Hello? I need this. Nope. That. Sure. I want to know what all these noises are that are making terrible, terrible sounds that sound like something's going to eat me. Oh, cake. Ha ha! Oh, I got resistance. I got resistance from the cake. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Maybe maybe the vault knew that I was having trouble and was like, oh, this poor guy. This poor, poor guy. Here, let's give him something. What, what do we have? Give, give him some pity points. Give him some pity. Oh, man, this guy's doing terrible. <laughs> that's totally how I feel right now. That's totally how I feel. The, the vault just feels sorry for me. That's okay. That's okay. We'll get geared up eventually. We will get geared up eventually. I got a trader core there. Oh, hi. Whoo, you scared me. You snuck up on me. Don't be sneaking up on me like that. Boom, get wrecked. You and your friend. Uh, okay, I don't see anything else in there. There's ores up here. I definitely want the ores. I want all the ores. So those vault ores that we keep seeing, those are very good. Those are very, very good. I'm hoping that we get armor from this, to be honest. I'm hoping that we get armor from some of the things that we're getting out of here. I mean, obviously, I, I think we're going to get netherite stuff, but getting, like, vault armor, which is possible. They have, like, custom armor for the vault. Uh, Yeah, vault armor would be very nice. Vault armor would be very, very nice because it basically makes you... A lot more powerful for running through. For running through here. Alright, man. This this entire room is just like... I thought I was going to like it because of all the ores around. But it actually just feels like throw up. <laughs> like, there's so many colors. There's so many colors. That it just feels overwhelming. Alright. Oh, I don't need... I need that back. Thank you. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know why, but I'm a little bit nervous while running this. All right, where am I at? I need to go... I don't think I've been this way. Let's go this way. This looks like a good direction. Have I been this way? I don't think I have. Ooh, what's this? I want it. That looks like some decorative stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. 
Pro probably shouldn't be focusing on this, to be honest, but it looked cool. Ooh, a Nautilus shell. Ores. Nice. More stuff. Hi. Go away. You as well. No! You get back! Oh! No! Nope. Nope and out of there. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Nope, 30. Guess what time it is? It's nope 30. That's what time it is. Oh, hi, a spawner. And get wrecked. Stupid spawner. All right, I see a chest over here. I want the chest. Ow, I see a zombie right there. Go away, zombie. And you're poisoned. Of course you are. Of course you are. Why would anything come easy to me? <laughs> Why would anything come easy to me? Ah, uh, this is great. All right, explosions. What is this? This is like a village. And another... <laughs> Okay, looks like I just can't win. That's what I'm learning here. Okay, catalyst fragment. Don't know what that is, but it seems important. Seems important. I imagine that the comments are just going to absolutely roast how bad I am at this. <laughs> if you guys have any tips, let me know. Let me know. I, I would love some tips at this point. Hi there. Give me this. All right. Um. All right. We got 11 minutes left. We gotta. We gotta step it up here. Cause I got two vault diamonds, but I I actually don't know how many is is good to be honest. Hi, hi, hi. You guys are very angry. Okay. This is another one of those rooms that I am not a huge fan of. Got a relic piece. Oh, hi, 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 hi. You guys spawned all up in my face. All right, what's this way? By the way, I am keeping an eye on the timer because I know that we are going to have to get back still as well. So that is not low. Oh, an X marks the spot room. Hello. You are interesting. I'm gonna take a screenshot of you. What's in here? Stuff. Okay, so an X marks the spot room. It, oh, other than it doing stuff like this, apparently. It's a lucky room. And you can get very, very lucky and get an awesome, an awesome room out of it, if you get lucky. Um, yeah, I hear, I hear things dying. I hear things dying all around me. Do we risk it? Do we risk going down? I think we risk it. Oh, come on. Come on. Hello. I want it. Give me something lucky, please. Oh, it's lucky, but it's got a lot of stuff in it. Hi. Uh... No, no, I want out. I want out. I want out. Out is back that way, and I need to get that way. No, thank you. Look at all of the spawn. So many chests, but also so many spawners. I cannot. I cannot deal. Even if I kite these dudes, there's no way I'm living through this. Okay. All right. Just remain calm, killer. Remain calm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's just no way. Okay, creeper. Yep, I hear you. Okay. Okay. I am safe. For a second. I really want to go down there and get more stuff, but I don't even have a way. Gives you haste for three. Haste three for two minutes. That doesn't help me. Hi. Hi. 
I think I may actually risk this. I'm not gonna lie, I think I may actually risk this. No, I'm trapped, I'm trapped. Okay, th this was a bad idea. Never mind, I'm bailing, I'm bailing. I'm bailing, I'm bailing so hard. Please. Okay, all right, I'm out. Yep, I'm out. 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 I'm so out. I am so out of here. I'm so out of here. I'm done. I'm done. That was scary. That was really scary. That was not that was that wasn't even that fun. <laughs> oh. They really got me there though. They really got me there. I thought that I thought that that chest room was going to be nice and we were going to get cool stuff and there was just as many spawners as there were chests and that that in general is not very fun. We're about to have to turn back though because I am actually I am actually running out of time. So let's head back wherever back is. I see my waypoint. Maybe we'll try a different way back so we can hit some chests on the way, but overall, oh man. This was not good. <laughs> oh, this was not good. I feel like a scaredy cat, but like, I already hit this one. Okay, so there's our exit. So we still have six minutes. We're actually really, really close to our exit. So, let's try a different direction real quick and just see if we can get some last minute chests before we head out of here. I know we only have three and a half hearts, so I'll be careful about it, but... Oh, we've already been here. Okay. No, let's just head. Let's just bail. Alrighty, so I just went through all of the loot that I got out of that vault, and I would say it actually wasn't too bad of a pull for our very first vault ever. I mean, we got one relic, which isn't super good. Uh, we'll get a lot better at running and getting those as we get more chests, but I also got this mystery box, which uh, looks like it gave us some wool. Okay, that's not incredibly useful to us, but we also got three vault diamonds in our very first we're gonna call that our very first vault run just just don't be so judgy okay we're gonna get better at it anyway three vault diamonds and the rest of this stuff is things that i can't really use that this is pretty cool uh the vending machine which i don't i don't think that we can use this at all yet we need uh this i believe actually can host a trader core with the same name several times. Oh, this is the one I was thinking of. Can host an unlimited amount of trader cores. This one. Oh, actually, this one isn't that difficult either. Huh. Let's actually do that. Let's actually do that. Let's make one. Let's make a vending machine right now. I want to do it. Um, we need gold. What did we need? We need six gold. And, oh, that's going to chew into one of our diamonds, but I should have other gold here that I can spell, right? Yeah, wait, okay. I said diamonds. I meant gold. <laughs> that's going to chew into some of our gold. Um, we're going to need one diamond, which I actually got a lot of diamonds from the vault. And then we need redstone and a glass pane. I may have to smelt up glass. No, we won't. Perfect. Okay, so we should have everything. Uh, let's make a vending machine real quick. Assuming glass panes are fine. Yep. There we go, advanced vending machine. All right, let's just set this guy right here and then let's go and grab a little stress monster. Hello. Ah, oh, hello stress, how are you doing? Let's see what you're selling. You are selling copper, it looks like. 
uh, for a candy bar, which gives us five, uh, speed five for 30 seconds in the vault. So this is so we can get around super quickly in the vault if we chew a lot of them while we're in there. And that's okay. That's fine. Not really what I'm looking for right now, though, Stress. I'm going to be honest with you. Right now, I'm looking for experience. And this vault cookie that I have in my hand right now, this is how we're going to gain experience other than just running the vault. We can also find these in a chest and you can eat it to gain vault experience. And we can't consume these after level 25. So we might as well eat them while we have them. And as you can see, we got ourselves a little bit more experience on the bar there. Not a lot though, not a lot by any stretch of the imagination. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put this stuff back up. I'm going to get my inventory sorted out a little bit better. And then I think I want to run another vault. Alrighty, here we go, another vault. And I think that this time I am pretty much going to ignore ores for the most part. I really want to see what is in the chest because it looks like, at least toward the beginning game where I'm at right now, uh, chests are probably going to be much more important to me just because it's go- Oh, I forgot to set a waypoint. Hold on, let me do that real quick before we get completely lost in here. Let's just do a little something like that. There we go. Brand new waypoint. And now let's go ahead and let's head through the vault. Okay. Uh, I'm actually not going to mess with this room at all because I already hear guardians and not a big fan. Not a big fan of guardians, to be honest. So I'm just going to head right on through that. And we are going to see what we have over here. That is TNT, which means it is going to explode the second I touch it. Okay, all I want to know is were there any chests? Nope, totally not worth it. Okay, shouldn't have even done that. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get in here. Let's grab these ores that I can see real quick. Nothing else in here that I can see. Let's see if I can get up here somehow. And I imagine that in that barrel stack that's up here, there's going to be either spawners or chests. Chests, nice. I also did see that there's TNT in here, so I want to be pretty careful. Uh, do I want to mess with it? Do I want to risk it? Ha, there's another one. Ah, beautiful. Vault cookie, nice. Okay, I want this set down. I want to be able to just throw stuff in here as quickly as I can. As long as I stay pretty fast with things like that, like as far as getting things into my chest, we can loot quite a bit. I mean, 11 shulkers is nothing to, you know, there's nothing to put your nose up at, you know? 11 shulkers is still a lot of items, especially if it's items out of a chest. That can be pretty good. That can be pretty, oh, this looks good. This looks like a good room. What are these chests? Ho 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 ho! These look like great chests. Okay, we're gonna loot this whole room. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Oh, look at them vault diamonds, boys. That's what I'm talking about. All right, and I'm gonna try and stay back from the chest a little bit whenever I open them. Oh, what's this? 10 experience levels. Oh, <laughs> worth, worth it. I will take that. Experience isn't too hard to get because we get so many bottles of enchanting, so... I think that that is totally worth that trade-off. And we got some type of egg. A mystery egg. I don't know what that does. It's mystery. Ha! Huh, see what I did there? That's funny. I'm hilarious. Okay, let's see. Anything else from here? Oh, I just picked up a book. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna... We're gonna find out later, I imagine. Some type of gear from Create here, it looks like. Uh, that looks like bedrock. Okay. So I'm guessing, or vault rock, rather. All right. More stuff I can grab out of here. You know what I should probably do? To be honest, I should probably sort these and then do like that. That'll probably be quicker, huh? All right. I hear you guys making a lot of noise, and you guys are kind of freaking me out. So if you could just, like, not make a lot of noise that would be fantastic 
That would be fantastic, to be honest. Oh yeah, that's a lot easier. Sort first, then loot. Ha! Ah, beautiful. And that is compressed blocks. That is going to be very nice. Hello. Beautiful. All right. Boom. Okay, so these chests, I don't know what they are, but they're amazing. An omega chest. Okay. So the chests are actually like labeled for what they are and how good they are. Which is pretty useful. Pretty useful, not gonna lie. All right. Next room. What do we have here? Trapped? Nope, not trapped. Perfect. All right. Give me that. Get another obelisk. Not that I really plan on fighting the boss, because I know that I'm going to get wrecked. I'm barely able to stay alive in here. But... Figure we might as well hit it anyway. All right. I do want some of these compressed blocks, because I imagine it's going to be pretty useful for us for filling out more crystals, which we're definitely going to need to do at some point. Oh, there's ore over there. Uh, not worth the risk. Never mind. You guys can have it. I changed my mind. You guys can totally have it. I want those compressed blocks, though, if you guys could, could be so kind as to let me have those. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. You guys can have the rest of that room. Okay. Ooh, a ladder going down. What's in here? All right. Hello? Anything? This actually looks like an end. Is this a stronghold? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I wonder if this is under all the villages. I was in a village earlier and I did not... Okay, let's see if this is actually any good, though. See if this is even worth wasting our time with, though. Go away. Go away. Oh, silverfish! Silverfish! Oh, I forgot about you guys. Hi there. Hi there. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're having a blast now. We are having a blast now. If we weren't having fun before, we're having fun now, aren't we, guys? Why are you guys so hard to hit? Okay, alright, I've had enough. I've had enough! I've had enough! No! I want out! Let me out of here! No! You're not killing me like that! Give me this! Oh, I almost died again. What's in here? Do I have anything else to heal me with? Any more health potion thingies? Of course not. Because why would I have any more health? I do have more health. Haha. -ha. Beautiful. All right. Let's get out of here. Safety! <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, that was fun. And we leveled up and we have one unspent skill point now. Oh, so we can actually get another skill that could be useful. Probably whatever feather falling thing. Permanently remove all possible fall damage. Oh, it costs five though. Oh, that would have been super useful. I'm not going to lie. Okay, we'll have to look for something else, but I need something that'll help us in these vaults. Alrighty, so while I am sorting my chest, I actually decided to do a little bit of research into this mod because, uh, to be honest, I just wanted to know if I was super, super underpowered. Um, like, I feel like I'm doing bad with these vaults, but... Honestly, uh, apparently not. Apparently this is just a pretty hard pack. I actually decided to go and watch Chosen Architect because he 
has been playing this mod pack for quite a while. So I decided to hop onto some of his videos and just see, you know, how he fared at the beginning. And it uh, turns out uh, not not amazing. I mean, he did good, probably better than me, to be honest. But uh, yeah, <laughs> he, uh, he's not doing great either. But you unlock power-ups as you go through and obviously it gets a lot easier. Now, I also learned some of the terminology. So those black chests that we were opening that were super, super good, those are actually called gilded chests, which is actually pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like that they have a name and that we can refer to them as such. I learned some other things. I, I watched actually a couple of episodes while I was working on some other things and while also sorting these chests. So uh, I'm, I'm a little more familiar. I'm definitely not a pro, but I'm a little more familiar with what the heck is going on here. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is our current loot chest for the vault. I just went ahead and combined it all into one chest. So this is everything that we have so far, not just the things from that run, but 10 mystery boxes that I definitely want to go ahead and open. And then we also have some relic booster packs. Now, these things also give you a little bit of experience. It's not much, but it's something. And I just got warrior's armor. Craft together with the four other pieces from the warrior set to complete the warrior relic. A relic increases your time in the vault permanently by 30 seconds, but only once. Oh, okay, so once you have one set, you can only get 30 seconds once. So if I get a warrior's relic, then we can add 30 seconds to our vault. That's pretty cool. That's interesting. I don't know how much 30 seconds is going to help unless we're like, you know, right on the edge of about to get uh, killed, <laughs> getting out of the vault, but whatever. Excess relic statues can be smelted down to create bitter lemons. Bitter lemons. Okay, interesting. So I'm going to just throw that into there for right now. And then we got some mystery boxes, which it looks like these basically... Oh no, this one gave me actually some hamburger stuff it looks like burger buns and a tomato interesting those are crafting ingredients okay let's go ahead and throw this in here redstone dust we'll throw the protection book over here so i was gonna say that it looks like this mostly gives us uh items like vanilla items but it appears that i am mistaken it can give you other things as well Okay, what else? Vault cookies. I'm going to go ahead and eat all eight of these. We need all of the experience we can get. There's another skill point. There we go. Okay, up to level two. Now what? <laughs> now what do we need? Contains a random passive mob egg. Interesting. A rabbit egg, a strider egg, and a chicken egg. 60 charges. Huh, that's interesting. So we can spawn those those mobs if we need them. Then we have gifter statues. Generates a large amount of a random resource until it decays. Interesting. And we got a couple of those. Some of different sizes, though. This one says large amount. These say random resource until it decays, but it doesn't say large amount. So I'm assuming these give you items, but of uh, lesser, uh, lesser items, not as many. Um... But anyway, we do have six vault diamonds. We have six vault diamonds total. And we also have these magnet things. And I'm not entirely sure. I'm assuming that we can make some type of magnet. Oh, looks like we can make a vault magnet. Okay, cool. So, sucks dropped items toward the player. Activate by right-clicking on a hotbar. And it takes a Wuto woo, woo Dai gem. Do I have a Wuto Dai gem? I do have a Wuto Dai gem. And I have this. And I have one of these. Oh, we can make a magnet. Okay, hold up. I need a magnet. Magnet. Ah, ha, ha. Boom. Weak magnet. Perfect. Okay, so that will bring items to us as we are going through the vault. Look, we got our very first upgrade, everybody. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. I do want to look at my skill points, though, because I feel like there's got to be something that we can use to help us in the vault right now, right? Maybe step up. Oh, that's gonna <laughs> that's gonna cost five to learn as well. Oh man, 
Increases the player's amount of hearts. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be super useless. Grants the player immunity to drowning. That could be useful for underwater things. Reach. Speed. Speed levels permanently. Increases the player's movement speed. I do feel like I'm slow in the vault. Let's check abilities first before I decide on anything. What about the mega jump? Launch yourself high into the sky with a mega jump. Jump height and cooldowns. Oh. I want that. I want that. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Let's just see. Okay. <laughs> That's, that sounds like it is going to be very useful. Okay. Let's, uh, let's bind it to a hot key real quick. Alrighty, so I've went ahead and bound the mega jump to a key and yeah, our mobility is going to be much, much better. <laughs> apart from, apart from however, us taking fall damage from it. That, that could be a problem. So getting the fall damage uh, skill point thing, uh, that's probably going to be extremely useful. Also, I went ahead and put all of these gifter statues over on top of barrels, and these guys are slowly giving us items. This guy is giving us gravel, this guy is giving us marble, this guy is giving us dark oak logs, and this guy is giving us sand. So, I got these guys set up, they're just dumping all of their items into a barrel, and uh, yeah, eventually these guys are going to be fully depleted and stop giving us items. Then, we'll have to figure out whatever we do with them. But I think that for today, this is going to be where I wrap up. We had a lot of vaults done, and I feel like we made some progress. Maybe not a ton, but you know, I imagine that this was going to be slow at the start. So, I, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. This is actually still super fun, so... I think that we need to run a few more vaults though, get us geared up a little bit better, and then we probably need to build a base at some point as well, so... Uh, we got a lot more to do in this mod pack. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be where I wrap up for today. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. You guys have a great day.